Okay, guys, I am back with another early unboxing. Well, technically not unboxing. This is going to be a review on the DVD version of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Now, yes, I do own this movie on Blu-ray, but that did not belong to me. It belongs to my brother. I found this at a pawn shop. I was supposed to pay a dollar on it, but the worker told me 50 cents. So I paid 50 cents for this movie. Um, yes, here's the front, the side, the back, um, and here is the disc. Um, sadly, no digital code. Um, to be honest, I really don't care if it didn't include the digital code. I mean, you can tell, like, the red, the label says DVD plus digital. So, yeah, um, this movie is great. Um, I seen this movie, like, two days after it was released on Blu-ray, I thought, on Blu-ray and DVD five years ago, um, yes, um, don't get me wrong, um, Spider-Man is a great character, he's been around since 1962, um, Miles, he's been around since 2011, Gwen, Spider-Gwen, she's been around since, like, 2015, and then after that we got another Gwen, uh, from another universe called Gwenpool. She's like Deadpool, but she her outfit is just recolored, like Barbie colors, like pink and white. Um, Spiderman Award, who is played by, you guessed it, Ghost Rider himself, Spider Ham, Penny Parker. Also, yes, fun fact. She's played by, um, Kimiko Glenn. You know, the, the actress who did the voice of Issy from My Little Pony. Bridget from, um, Close Enough. Uh, who else? Oh, yeah, Nifty from Haspen Hotel. And that's, like, the only three characters I know she played. And I totally forgot Jake Johnson um, played Peter Parker. But, yes, Jack Quaid, yep, from The Boys, uh, he played Peter Parker from another universe. So, yeah, um, this uh, review is going to get 100 out of 100. I'm sorry if I made this video, like, this review thingy, whatever you call it now, uh, three minutes, I'm truly sorry, anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe, now, the real unboxing begins, so yes, I know I did a Walmart unboxing on the 13th of last month, and yes, I bought this a few days ago, I thought, I could buy this because, well, I actually had this planned for a week now. Well, actually, two weeks, actually. But don't worry, there's... I got two more unboxings of August to do, and then we will get to September's. Which, this is only for September's unboxing. <clears throat> and here it is! It is the Homer Simpson plush. Um, I bought this on Walmart's, um... from a different account, 
wow! Look at this! And here's the tag. Um, yes, it's made by Jax Pacific, which I mentioned this about twice. And yes, this is called the this plastic part right here. It's called Roto Head. Um, glad I got this in my collection. Um, yeah, somebody, somebody said this reminds them of the uh, Burger King plushies that Burger King had years ago in the 90s. Which, again, I was not there from that time because I was born a decade later in 2002. So yeah, um, let's take the tag off and then review it in three, two, one. Okay, guys, here's the tag. There's the character's head. I think it's Marge, the baby. Uh, I think it was Maggie, like, like. Okay, guys, here's the tag. There's Lisa, Bart, Maggie, M-A-G-G-I-E, Homer, and Marge. Um, so yeah, I got Homer because, um, why not? Anyway, guys, um, like, comment, subscribe. Alrighty, guys, I am back with another... WWE Mattel Knuckle Crunchers uh, unboxing. Yes, this is my third Knuckle Cruncher figurine. Um, yes, we already look at Seth freaking Rollins and John Cena. Now we're taking a look at Roman Reigns because, well, yep, he is back. And I know I said no spoil spoilers I said the other day, but anywho, a lot of people watched it. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get it come out in the package in three, two, one. Okay, so I use a pair of scissors to cut the the um little thing right here. So we got to get the Kendo sticks stand out. So be right back. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what they look like. So Okay. Oh, I gotta build it. Okay, I'm not really good at building stuff. Cause I used to build a tree, a birdhouse when I was eleven, so yeah. Let's see. Okay, um. This is gonna take me a few minutes. So, here we go. Okay, guys. So, it took me like 10 seconds to do. Like, to build the sand. Now, yes. All he includes. He comes with a stand. And he also comes with two. Um. Kendo sticks. Now, yes, the sand comes in four pieces you got the stand the little um display thing and the little hangers so yeah um let's look at the figure now yes here he is out of the box um i don't know why they did not paint the wrist but i guess they didn't have time he got the needle mover shirt on his man bun samurai jack style. Now, let's look at the stand. Okay, I thought I paused it. So, here's the stand. Now, here's one kendo stick. It's just bent. See? And here's the other one. It's slightly bent, but you can't really fix it. So, the last scene that y'all watched was two minutes 57 seconds of the unboxing. So, there's the little stand. It 
has the little Acknowledge Me logo on it. And yes, you can set the little Kendo sticks on it. I don't know what's Roman Reigns' obsession with Kendo sticks, but I guess he just used them for to um, injure his opponents. I don't know. So let's go ahead and get to the review in three, two, one. This unboxing plus review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. Now, yes, I love these uh little figurines. They're only seven dollars eighty four cents a piece at Walmart. Um, they don't have series two in yet. Uh, but I am going to get the Rock maybe some point by September if they don't sell them out at walmart so anyway guys like comment subscribe okay guys so yes this is my second bendy plushie and yes this is series two real world bendy plush they did have boris or the other character um Yes, I picked this one up at the same Walmart I was at in another city because this one I'm at right now does not have these plushies in. Um, And yes, I know it's been three months since I did a plushie review on a Bendy in the Ink Machine plush toy. Yes, it was Alice Angel, and that was like three months ago. By the way, it was my third plushie. And yes, I got a second clip I'm going to show you guys. I filmed this at a Walmart that was next to a Burger King, which I thought would be pretty funny to show you guys. But first, let's review the plushie. Now, yes, the plushie does not have the stitches in the eyes, nor the mouth, nor the gloves. It's just printed on. Now, let's go ahead and take the tag off in three, two, one. Here's the tag. Not really. It feels like. Hard cardboard like this one. Here's the Jack Pacific tag and the Bindi tag. So yeah, um, this is series two. Uh, series two just released not that long ago. See, series one just released like towards the end of April, and I thought I would get this because you know. I really want a second Bendy plush, which again is my second Bendy plush. Anyway, guys, uh, let's show the next clip in three, two, one. Here is this scene I filmed yesterday in a different city. Yes, I pick up the Bendy that y'all saw me review just now. Uh, at a different Walmart, a Super Center Walmart. Yes, uh, he is looking at a Burger King because he can't get any. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Hey guys, I am back with another review video. So yes, I finally got Movie Shadow. Yes, I just picked him up at Walmart not that long ago because Walmart on the app canceled the order. Why? I don't know. And there was a little something on my phone. So yeah, here he is. Pretty cool. And the tag is cool too. too. Now, yes, he's like nine inches the same like height of the other three plushies. Which are just a re-release of the ones from the last movie. So, the one that was really interesting was the Shadow. Because he's playing. 
He is being played by Kenayu Reeves. And yes, I am excited to tell you guys that uh, this will be for September's unboxing, which will be an earlier review on September's unboxing. I already filmed the other three. The other two, I have not, or three, I have not reviewed yet. So yeah, um, he was like $9.97 at Walmart, and he was only like a two extra dollars, like ten dollars ninety four cents so yeah um anyway let's go ahead and take the tag off and see what he looks like without the tag the tag on in three two one before we look at the plushie i just want to look at the tag first now yes you may know this scene in the background is like a screenshot of the one from the any credit scene from Sonic 2 and the other characters from the last movie, including Sonic himself, which is a pretty cool tag. And there's the Sonic 3 logo. Now let's look at the plushie itself and give it a review in 3, 2, 1. I had to move the camera a bit because I know, oh, it looks like I was zooming in, but I wasn't. So this plush review is going to get 100 out of 100. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, so this is actually the very first September unboxing I'm filming during the month of September. Now, yes, I bought this from GameStop yesterday, and I didn't know oh, it was getting delivered today. So, yeah, let's go ahead and show you guys what it is. Voila! It is the Princess Peach traveling the Princess Peach Nintendo Switch traveling case. Uh, yes. Uh, it's from the new Princess Peach game, which I have not yet played. Uh, got it from GameStop yesterday. Uh, it was only $20.00. But I had to pay nine more dollars on it. So, yeah, let me go get a pair of scissors or something to cut the little package off. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I got the... I got this off. And, yes, it's designed for Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch Lite. Nintendo Switch OLED model. Um, to be honest, I don't have a Nintendo Switch model, old model, whatever you call it. I have a Nintendo Switch Lite. My brother has a Nintendo Switch. So let's go ahead and take off the other thing and see what it looks like inside in 3, 2, 1. This was a pain to get out. It took me like two minutes to take off. Now, let's look inside. Now, yes. Oh, weird. Styrofoam. Here's the little instructions, which I don't really need. That styrofoam, yay. Now, here's what the inside looks like. Um, and it comes with one little sand, like carrying case. So yeah, this unboxing plus review is going to get 100 out of 100. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys, I am back with another unboxing. This time, it is the Peacemaker Toy... I mean, not Toy Factory. Uh, Factory Entertainment Peacemaker, the series Peacemaker Talking plush um i don't know if it talks or not i bought this like two days ago on amazon and i'm going to be really honest i didn't know this was even a real thing now yes i haven't done a peacemaker related unboxing since way back in december Let's get them out of the bag. 
Okay, so while the video was paused, I tested out. It talks. So this is like the second um talking plushie I reviewed. Uh, I did review the Joy talking plush I bought from Walmart months ago, and the helmet is fabric, metallic fabric. Sadly, he does not have the removable helmet. But I thought in my mind he would, but he don't. So yeah, um, looks really cool. And look at this. He has the, uh, what do you call it? Um, his little, um, I want to say nerve toy because that's what I'm going to call it because, well, why not? From the movie, the Mortal Kombat 1 DLC. I mean, and yes, this is actually John Cena's voice in the box. Because, you know, he plays Peacemaker. So, yeah, let's go ahead and take the tag off and then review it in 3, 2, 1. And just for the record, before I take the tag off, I did bought this on Amazon two days ago. Okay, guys. This unboxing plus review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. I'm glad they made a Peacemaker plush. Like, comment, subscribe. Hey, guys. I am back with another unboxing. And yes, this is the final September unboxing before um, we get to... Uh, October's and here is the plushie I was telling you guys about it is the total anime heroes from Jazzwares My Hero Academia is the Kumidoria plush which is like for something from Country Roll but they have four of these plushies they have Midoriya, Yuji from Jujutsu Kaisen, Anya from Spy X Family, and Levi from Attack on Titan. Now, yes, I will try to unbox Yuji next month, or probably some point in November, but let's go ahead and get Midoriya out of the bag. Now, these are way much different than the Great Eastern plushies, because, um, you can tell, like, when you touch the bottom... They have little beads inside. Now, yes, um, here's the tag. Total anime, My Hero Academia, Isakuma Doria, now streaming on Crunch Crunchy Roll. Now, yes, I haven't done an anime unboxing since like the Shinobo plush from Great Eastern, like two months ago. And yeah, um, I got this, I had a, okay, story time, a little bit, so, I bought this on the 8th, I pre-ordered it on the 8th, I canceled that order, we bought it to be delivered here in two days, but I re-canceled it on the day that the plushie released, and re-bought it that day to get delivered today, so yeah, um... I'm glad I got this in my collection. Um, I really don't like the arms, what they did to the arms of, because he's supposed to have the green shoulders on him, but I guess that's not going to be the case. So yeah, um, again, this is the final unboxing for September, and I'll put the best of September's unboxing compilation part two out there, maybe by Monday or Tuesday in two or three days. So yeah, let's go ahead and take the tag off and see what he looks looks like without the tag ag, the tag on in three, two, one. Okay, guys. I took the tag off. Now look at this. If they make series two, I want to see them make a dingy or any character from Chainsaw Man. Maybe another character from My Hero Academia. Maybe another Spy Family character, or Attack on Titan. Maybe Naruto, or Dragon Ball C. 
But yes, uh, I'm glad I got Midoriya in this form. Because, to be honest, uh... I like the Jazzwares, uh, anime plushies. Which ones do y'all like better? The Great Eastern My Hero plushies or the Isaku Midoriya plushie by Jazzwares? Let me know down in comments below, and I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe!